Hello kids! And today we're gonna learn the numbers and also the colors. And we're also gonna learn how to count them. And as additional, we have the panda puzzle that we're gonna solve. So let's start! Oh, where did the numbers go? And the circles and the puzzles. Hmm, I think they are in these crayons. So let's try to find them. Let's open our first crayon. And it's gonna be the yellow one. Let's shake. Wow, here we have the shape, but we also have the number. Great. So let's start with the puzzles. And we have panda here, and you can see it's a mouth of the panda. Okay, so let's maybe place right now in the center and then take another puzzle piece. And this is the corner puzzle piece. So it is flower, grass, and the part of the body of the panda. So we can place it maybe here at the moment. And let's go with the number. So here we have number five. And it's a blue color. So let's count one two, three, four, and five. Great. And let's take our circles, wheels, blue wheels, and let's place them. One, two, three, four, and five. Great. Well done. So let's keep going and let's open the next crayon. So it's gonna be the brush. Okay. Great, and let's take the puzzle piece and let's turn around and here we have the grass of the panda. Okay, here is the grass and here is the panda. So maybe let's place right now here and see if we're gonna move later. Great, okay, let's take the number. So this is number three and it's a yellow color. So let's count. One, two, three. Great. And let's take those yellow wheels and let's count. One, two, and three. Great. Well done. We already found two numbers and we also step by step completing the puzzle. Let's keep going. And the next crane that we're gonna take gonna be the red one. Let's take and let's shake it. Let's open. Wow, we have the number and the puzzle. So let's start with the puzzle. Let's turn around. And what we have here? We have the eyes of the panda. And here we have a mouth. So let's combine them like this. Great, well done. So then let's take the number. So this is number four and let's place on the board let's count one two three and four great and let's take the wheels and let's count them one two three and four great let's take the next crayon so the next crayon that we're gonna take gonna be the orange one let's pick it and shake open oh how many things we have we have here two numbers let's start with the puzzle so here we have the puzzle let's turn around and here we have the part of the panda grass and the ocean so let's take and try to place on the board and i think it should go here but i'm not sure let's do it no but here we can see here is the grass and here is the grass. So maybe if we're gonna turn around and do like this, then it's gonna work out. So let's try. Yes, we've combined those puzzle pieces. Great. And let's take the numbers. So here we have the number nine and it's a pink color. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight and nine great and we have nine wheels that we need to count 
and it's a pink color wheels. So let's go. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Great. And we have the second number. So it is number two. Great. And it's a red color. So let's place on the board. We have one, two, here. Great. And let's take the wheels. So we have here one, and we have here two. Amazing. Well done. Great job. And we only left with three crayons. So let's pick the next one. And the next one that we're gonna pick gonna be the pink crayon. Let's shake and open. Wow, it looks pretty good. We have two puzzles and the number. So let's start with the puzzle pieces. And turn around, and here we have the blue color ocean. Hmm, and where we can place it? Let's think together. And let's turn around like this and try to place here and connect together those puzzle pieces. Great, and let's take another one. And here we have the bamboo tree and the panda body. So let's maybe try to place it right here. Great, well done. So next we're gonna look at the number and here is the number six. So it's a pink color, number six. And let's count together. One, two, three, four, five and six. Great, and we have six pink wheels. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Great! We've completed almost all our numbers and we almost completed our puzzle. Keep, let's keep going on this puzzle adventure and number adventure. And the next train that we're gonna take gonna be the blue. And let's shake. Open. Wow! We have a lot of here stuff. Okay, let's take the puzzle piece and let's turn around. What we have here? Okay, we have part of the panda holding the bamboo tree. Okay, and let's try maybe to place it here. So here is the part of the hand of, of the panda and here is the ear of the panda. Like this. Great! And the next that we're gonna pick gonna be the number, and it's number eight. Okay, and where we can place the number eight? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Great, and we also have eight wheels that we need to place on the board. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Great, well done. And we also have the number one. So it always starts with the number one. So let's place on the board like this. Great. And we also have one wheel. Great, we've completed this. And we only left with the last crayon. And the last crayon is green color. And let's take it and shake it like this. Let's open it. Wow, we have two numbers and we have puzzle piece. Okay, let's start with the puzzle piece. And this is the last puzzle piece that we need for this puzzle game with Panda. So let's turn around. And what we have here? Here we have the ear of the panda and the eye of the panda. So it should go here because there is no any other place where we can fit it. So let's do like this. Great, we've completed this panda puzzle that panda is holding the bamboo and sitting on a grass full of flowers. Great, let's take the numbers. Okay, and here we have the number 10 and it's the last number that we have on number board. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 
stand. Great. And let's take those violet wheels and let's place them. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Amazing. Well done. And we have the last number. And the last number is number seven, orange color. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Great. And we have seven orange wheels. One, two, three, four, five, six, and last one. Seven. Great. Amazing. Congratulations. We've completed this puzzle game. So we've completed the numbers game and the panda puzzle game. So we learned about the numbers. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's look at the panda. Here is the panda eyes. Here is the panda nose. Here is the bamboo tree. Here is panda hands. Here is panda legs. Here is the grass and flowers. And also, if we look at the numbers, let's see the colors. So this is red color, this is orange color, this is yellow color, this is green color, this is blue color, this is pink color, this is orange color, and this is also blue color, and this is also pink color. And the last one is violet color. Great! And we also have smiley face, and he is smiling that we've completed all of the puzzle games. Amazing. See you in the next video. And today we're gonna learn about the numbers and the colors, but we also gonna find the puzzle pieces for the crab puzzle game. So let's start. Oh, where did they go? Let's find the puzzles, the numbers, and the circles and we also need to find smiley face let's go so we're gonna pick our first crayons we have different color crayons we have red color crayon pink color crayon orange color crayon brown color crayon green color crayon yellow color crayon and a blue color crayon so let's pick the first one and the first one that we're gonna pick gonna be the yellow one yes so let's shake it like this and open it oh we have different different parts here so we have the circles the puzzle piece two of them and the number okay let's start with the puzzle pieces and let's turn around them one two three okay we have corner puzzle piece and the side puzzle piece. So let's think where we should place the corner puzzle piece. Let's look at this image. And we can see that here is the small flower, the white one with the green. And here it's there. Let's place it right here. Great. Let's pick the next puzzle piece. And we have an eye of the crab. So let's think where we should place it. And I think it should go somewhere here. Let's leave it like that and let's continue with other stuff. And let's take our number and let's turn around. So this is number 10 and it's a violet color. So let's take the number 10 and place it somewhere on a board. I think it should go, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten great and we have violet circles and we should place them also with the number ten let's do it one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten Congratulations! We completed our first crayon and we found two puzzle pieces 
number 10 and 10 circles 10 wheels great let's continue and the next one crayon that we're gonna pick gonna be da, 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 which one yes it's gonna be green one let's take it and shake it like this one two and open it great we have different pieces of in this crayon and let's see we have circles and these circles are different colors and we have two puzzle pieces and two numbers okay let's start with our puzzle pieces and here we have the eye of the crab and the hand of the crab let's place it here so we can connect the eye with other puzzle piece great and here we have a part of smiley face of the crab and let's think together where we should place it let's look at the small puzzle image I think it should go here like this let's try it together and yes great well done okay we found we found four puzzle pieces and let's continue with the next things that are on our table and let's take this number and let's turn and it's a number four and let's count together one two three four great and we have four circles one two three and yes four great you're doing amazing let's continue with this number and this is number three and it's a yellow color number four green color and number three yellow color and let's count together one two and three great let's place it here and we have three yellow wheels and let's place like this one two and three amazing you you're i'm really excited that we are continuing our journey and you're doing amazing job let's continue with our next crayon and the next crayon that we're gonna pick gonna be blue one and let's shake it like this and open it and we have here two different puzzle pieces number and and we have wheels so let's start as always with puzzle pieces and let's take them and think where we can place and you can see here that we have side puzzle piece so it should be somewhere on a side and we need to decide where we should place it and here we can see the part of smiley face of the crab and and it's somewhere here i think somewhere on this board let's place it like this and try together and yes it's gonna work and we have completed another puzzle piece and let's take this one and here we have a hand of the crab and and this is the corner piece so we can place somewhere in the corner we can place it here 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 or here and I already see that we can place this puzzle here because you can see we can combine them. So let's push. Great. And let's continue with our number. And this is number eight. And it's a dark blue color. And let's think together where we should place it on a board. And let's count. One, two, three, four, five six seven and eight great and we have eight wheels let's do it together one two three four five six seven and last one eight we are doing so great that we are completing this puzzle in no time so let's continue let's pick our next crayon and the next crayon that we're gonna pick gonna be the orange crayon let's shake it and open it and we have here different 
puzzle pieces, wheels, and the number. Okay, let's think where we... Let's, let's solve this one by one. Let's take the puzzle piece and turn around. And let's take another one and turn around. And you can see that we have corner puzzle pieces. So we can place them here, 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 like this. So we need to think where we can place this one. And this is the part of the hand of the crab. And we already have the first hand here, the right one. So this is gonna be the left one. So let's try to place it here and let's push. Great. Let's take another puzzle piece and let's look at the small image. And on the small image, we can see that there is like a small green bush in a corner. And here we also have small green bush. So let's place it here. Great. Let's take the, our wheels and let's take our number and let's turn around. And you can see that this is number six. And let's count one, two, three, four, five, and yes, six. Great. And we have six wheels. Let's put them on this pole. And one, two, three, four, five, and the last one, six. So the six wheels represents the number six, and it's a pink color. Great. Let's continue with our puzzle and with our numbers. And let's take the red crayon. And there is a lot of things in the red crayon. Let's open it. Oh, we have the puzzle piece. We have the number and we have the wheels, but we also have the smiley face. And this is something special that we're gonna place on this board, but let's leave it at the end. Let's start with the puzzle piece and let's turn around. And you can see that here is the face of the crab and it should go somewhere here on the right side because on the left side, we already combined the smiley face of the crab. So let's place it here like this. Great, we are completing this puzzle. And let's continue with our number. And this is number seven. And it's an orange color. And let's place it on a board. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, and yes, seven. And we have, and we have orange wheels. And let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we only have six wheels, but this is the number seven. So somewhere in these crayons, we have the last wheel for the number seven. So let's find it and let's open the brown color. Let's shake it. Okay, we have puzzle piece, the number. We have actually two numbers and we have wheels so let's start with the puzzle piece and let's see where we can place it and this is the side puzzle piece so we can place somewhere on a side like this and we have here the smiley face of the crab and we almost gathered all the puzzle pieces for the smiley face and combine them so i think we should place it somewhere here and let's try it together yes Congratulations, we only left with the two puzzle pieces. So let's continue with numbers. And here we have number one. And number one, should, we should place here because that's where we start. One, two, three. It always starts with the one. So let's place there. And let's take the red color wheel because the number one is red color. Let's place it here like this. And we also have number two. And number two is also red color. Let's place it here. One and two, like this. Great, and we have two color wheels. One, two, great. And let's take our last crayon and it's a pink color crayon and let's open it. Take it like this and open. Oh, we have a lot of things here. So let's go 
one by one. And the first one thing that we're gonna go would be the orange wheel that we need to place for the number seven. And let's count together again. Let's take all of them and let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yay, we completed the number seven. Let's continue with our puzzle pieces. And we only have two, but which one should go here and which one should go here? Let's think. And I think that the one that should go here would be this one, because you can see we have a, a little bit of the sand here. So we're gonna place like this, great. And this one we need to turn like this and place it. Great, we completed our puzzle piece. And let's go with the numbers. So we have here the number five and it's a blue color. And let's count one, two, three, four, five. And let's take our wheels and count one, two, three, four, and five. Great. And we have here the pink wheels and the number Yes, the number nine. Let's take the number nine and place it here. And let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and yes, nine. And let's take our wheels and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the last one, nine. We completed our puzzle and the numbers puzzle game. But we also have the special smiley face that we need to place on this puzzle board. And you can see that there's empty space for the smiley face. Let's place the smiley face here. Great. And let's count again the numbers. One and it's a red color, two, and it's a also red color, three, it's a yellow color, four, it's a green color, five, it's a blue color, six, pink color, seven, orange color, eight, dark blue color, nine, light pink color, and 10, violet color, great. Thank you for joining this puzzle game and see you in the next one. Hello kids, today we have a dolphin and we have a great story about the dolphin. So let's solve the puzzle and also listen to the dolphin story. Let's start. In the shimmering depths of the Sapphire Sea, where the waves danced with the rhythm of the wind, there lived a joyful dolphin named Dolly. She was known across the watery realms for her graceful flips and her heart as pure as the coral sands. Dolly spent her days racing with the currents and playing hide-and-seek among the waves with her fish friends. One serene morning, as the sun painted the sea's surface with hues of gold and amber, Dolly's curiosity was piqued by a peculiar glimmer near the forbidden reef. She yearned for adventure, for something more than just the routine leaps and dives. Her heart ached for a mystery, for something that would add a splash of excitement to her tranquil world. Driven by her desire, Dolly ventured towards the enigmatic light. As she approached, the once familiar waters became strange and uncharted. Fear tickled her fins, but the thrill of discovery propelled her forward. She found herself at the entrance of a sunken ship, its mast tangled in seaweed and its cannons silent sentinels of the deep. Dolly, with courage as vast as the ocean, swam through the creaking wooden corridors of the ship. She discovered a treasure chest, its wood swollen from time under the sea, encrusted with barnacles. Inside, she found trinkets and baubles that shimmered like the surface of the water on a sunny day. 
Dolly's heart leapt. She had found the adventure she sought, along with treasures untold. But her triumph was short-lived, for the ship began to collapse under the weight of time. The water stirred into a whirlpool of danger, and Dolly found herself trapped. Panic surged through her as she pushed against the closing walls. Her friends, sensing her distress, rushed to the ship. Together, they worked in harmony with the sea, pushing and pulling until Dolly was free. Back in the safety of her home waters, Dolly shared her treasures with her friends. She realized that the true gems were not the sparkling stones or golden coins, but the bonds of friendship and the memories they created together. The Sapphire Sea sang with tales of Dolly's bravery, and she knew that while her journey had ended, the stories of her courage would ripple through the waves forever. As the moon rose and cast a silvery glow over the sea, Dolly swam with a new sense of purpose. The adventure had changed her. She was no longer just a playful dolphin, but a storyteller, a keeper of the sea's secrets. With a joyful flick of her tail, she joined her friends under the starlit sky, ready for the next day's adventures. Emboldened by her experiences and the wisdom gleaned from the deep, Dolly could not ignore the call of the uncharted waters that lay beyond her familiar shores. The reef had become a place not just of comfort, but of inspiration, a starting point for the new tales that beckoned to her from the heart of the Sapphire Sea. After her harrowing adventure and the discovery of sunken treasures, Dolly the Dolphin had become a beacon of inspiration in the Sapphire Sea. Her tale of bravery and the importance of friendship echoed through the currents, inspiring her marine companions to dream bigger and swim further. Yet the ocean's depths held more stories, and Dolly's spirit of adventure remained as untamed as the tides. The Sapphire Sea, ever vast and mysterious, whispered of unexplored realms to Dolly. Each morning brought new wonders, the ballet of the manta rays, the symphony of the whales, and the quiet, intricate dances of the sea anemones. The sea was alive with stories, each creature contributing a verse to its grand narrative. Dolly's heart, now seasoned by peril and emboldened by survival, yearned to delve deeper beyond the shimmering surface and the sunlit waters of her home. There were ancient wrecks and deep sea vents, glittering caves and fathomless trenches that called to her. With each story she heard, her resolve grew. She would be the dolphin who bridged worlds, who brought back tales from the abyss to share with her friends in the warm shallows of the Sapphire Sea. One day, as the sun cast its golden net over the water, Dolly encountered an old sea turtle, one that carried the map of countless years on his shell. He spoke of a place where the sea turned from sapphire to indigo, a trench so deep that it was said to hold the secrets of the sea's very birth. The turtle had never ventured there himself. It was a journey for the bold, he said, and he saw that boldness in Dolly's eyes. With a flip of her tail, Dolly thanked the wise turtle and set off towards the horizon. She traveled for days, riding the currents, diving through schools of fish that sparkled like constellations against the darkening blue. She encountered the guardians of the deep, the great white sharks whose eyes held the stories of millennia, and the playful squids whose ink painted trails of mystery in the water. As she reached the edge of the trench, the sea stars illuminated her path, their glow a welcome in the enveloping darkness. Dolly descended, her body slicing through the water with precision and grace. Down, down she went, where the pressure of the water weighed like the stories of all the seas upon her back. Here, in the silence of the deep, Dolly found wonders that few eyes had ever seen, 
bioluminescent creatures that shone like underwater stars, strange fish with translucent skins, and the slow dance of the jellyfish that seemed to hold the secrets of the deep in their gentle drift. But the trench held dangers, too. Narrow escapes from the jaws of deep-sea predators, swift currents that threatened to sweep her away, and the ever-present risk of the unknown. Yet, Dolly's courage did not waver. She was driven by an insatiable curiosity and a desire to bring back new stories to her aquatic kin. When at last she returned to the familiar waters of the Sapphire Sea, Dolly was changed once more. Her eyes held a depth like the trench she had explored, her voice a new timber that resonated with the wisdom of the deep. The sea creatures gathered, their eyes wide with wonder, as Dolly recounted her journey into the heart of the ocean. Her stories of the trench became the new legends of the Sapphire Sea, tales of awe that inspired bravery and respect for the vast world beneath the waves. Dolly had become more than a storyteller. She was a testament to the spirit of discovery, a reminder that the ocean's depths are boundless and that every current has a story to tell. As the stars twinkled above the gentle swells of the sea, Dolly understood that her adventures would never truly end. Each wave was a call to the unknown, and with her heart as her compass, she would always answer. And right now we have a star! Great! So let's solve the star puzzle and listen to the star story. Let's go! In the serene world of the glimmering reef, Stella. The sea star was a beacon of cheerfulness. With her vibrant yellow body dotted with playful spots, she was the gem of the seabed. Stella's days were simple and merry as she soaked up the sun's rays through the crystal clear waters and played tag with the passing schools of fish. Yet, in the quiet of the night, when the reef settled into a hushed lull, Stella's heart yearned for adventure. Beyond the reef, the ocean was a vast expanse of mystery and wonder, filled with tales of swirling whirlpools, majestic sea creatures, and treasures hidden in the abyss. Stella's imagination swirled with these stories, her desire to explore growing with each passing current. She dreamed of discovering the secrets the ocean held, of witnessing the marvels that lay just beyond her star-shaped reach. One fateful morning, Stella decided to chase her dreams. With a flutter of her arms, she set off into the unknown. The familiar coral structures gave way to open water, and the sunlight wove through the depths, casting patterns of light and shadow. Stella ventured further than she ever had, her excitement mounting with each new sight. She encountered creatures of all shapes and sizes, some that danced gracefully with the currents, and others that shyly peeked from behind the rocks. The deeper Stella traveled, the more wonders she found. She marveled at the dance of the jellyfish, their luminescent bodies pulsing in the dark waters, and watched in awe as a parade of giant turtles glided past their ancient eyes holding stories of the sea. She discovered gardens of anemones waving their colorful tentacles and schools of fish that glittered like living jewels. The ocean was a canvas of life, each creature a brushstroke of nature's grand design. However, adventure comes with its perils. Stella's exploration led her into the path of a fisherman's net. Caught in its tight weave, she was drawn upwards towards the glaring sun and the world of air. Panic gripped her, but amidst the fear, a wave of determination surged through her. Twisting and turning, she managed to slip through the net's grasp, her body free-falling back to the safety of the ocean's embrace. Stella returned to the glimmering reef, her journey an odyssey that had transformed her. She had sought adventure, 
and in turn, adventure had revealed to her the boundless heart of the sea. She had faced dangers and had come back with stories etched into her being. The other sea creatures gathered around, eager to hear her tales. Stella spoke of the beauty and the vastness, the darkness and the light of the deep sea. Her voice a soft melody that whispered of places far and wide. The sea star, once just a part of the reef's fabric, had become its storyteller, its dreamer. And as the moon cast its silver glow upon the waters, Stella realized that her greatest discovery wasn't the places she had seen, but the journey that had unfolded within her. She understood that every ripple in the water, every grain of sand, every ray of light was a part of a larger story, the story of the ocean, now her story too. Stella's adventure in the vast ocean had become a cherished legend among the inhabitants of Glimmering Reef. Her daring escape from the fisherman's net had not only brought her back to the comforting sands of home, but had also ignited a spark of curiosity in her fellow sea creatures. They hung on every word as Stella recounted her journey, her descriptions painting vivid images in their minds. In the days that followed, Stella's story inspired her friends to seek their own adventures, but they always returned to the reef, eager for the safety and camaraderie it offered. The reef was abuzz with excitement, each creature emboldened by Stella's courage, dreaming of their own explorations. Stella, meanwhile, found that her escapade had changed her in ways she hadn't anticipated. Where once the borders of Glimmering Reef had been the edges of her universe, she now saw them as a beginning, not an end. The reef was her home, yes, but the ocean was her calling. Each sunrise brought a new possibility, and with each tide, she felt the pull of the unknown. The ocean, vast and mysterious, whispered to her of undiscovered places, of currents that traveled to the ends of the earth, and of the deep where light dared not venture. Stella was enchanted by these tales, and she knew deep within her stars that her adventures were far from over. As the moonlight danced on the water's surface night after night, Stella would climb to the highest peak of the reef, looking out into the expansive sea. She imagined the creatures that roamed in the depths, the shipwrecks that lay silent and still, holding stories of old within their decayed hulls and the dance of the seaweed in the underwater meadows. Then came the day when a gentle giant, a whale named Winston, passed by Glimmering Reef. Winston spoke of distant waters, of icebergs that sparkled like diamonds under the polar night, and of creatures that played in the icy flows. His stories rekindled the flame of adventure in Stella's heart. With a resolve as strong as the currents, Stella bid farewell to her reef family once more. She joined Winston on his journey, traveling further than she ever had. Together, they explored the frozen wonderlands of the poles, where the water sang with the calls of the whales and the ice created a world of serene beauty. Stella learned of the delicate balance of these cold waters, of the creatures that depended on the ice for survival, and of the stars that shone brightly in the clear night skies. She danced with the penguins who slid on their bellies with sheer delight and watched in silent reverence as the auroras painted the sky with colors no coral could replicate. As seasons changed and Winston needed to move on, Stella understood that it was time to return to Glimmering Reef once again. She thanked Winston for the wonders he had shown her, and with a heart full of new tales, she rode the currents back to her home. Stella's return was celebrated throughout the reef. She had become more than a storyteller. She was a bridge between worlds, a sea star whose spirit was as deep and fathomless as the ocean itself. She shared tales of the polar night, of the creatures that thrived in the cold, and of the skies that told stories of their own. 
Her friends listened, their eyes wide with amazement. They realized that Stella's adventures were more than just journeys. They were a testament to the interconnectedness of all life, a reminder that every creature, from the smallest plankton to the mightiest whale, played a part in the ocean symphony. Stella's adventures had taught her that every moment was a story waiting to be lived, and every story was a life that intertwined with others in the vast tapestry of the sea. And so, under the starlit sky, Stella's voice mingled with the chorus of the ocean, her tales a melody in the grand song of the deep. Yes, and today we're going to learn about the alphabet. And look, we have the colorful lion that has the letters on him. A, B, C, and many other letters. Here we have the puzzle pieces, right? So it's a wooden puzzle piece. So what we're going to do first, we're going to turn around the puzzle piece and what we have here is the color and it's a pink color right so what we need to do we need to find the colors so here is the color red gray and what we have here the color green yes and let's turn around this one what we have here the color green so when we found two colors, we're going to put them together like this. Great. So we have green color, red and pink. So let's turn around this one. And what we have here, red color. And this is red. Great. So the next one is orange. And what we have here is yellow. And what is this? It's green. You know it. It's green. Correct. Great, so let's turn around maybe this one. This is pretty big and let's do it's a face of the lion and it's a yellow color. So here we have yellow and this one yellow. Great. And this is the color, you know the name, it's a yellow color. Let's place it here and let's turn around this one. And what's that color? You know it, it's orange color gray and what we have here is red color amazing so and let's continue what is this it's a tail so it's a yellow color and the brown so let's place this puzzle piece to the yellow side right and this one oh it's a new color it is blue color gray so what we're gonna do, we're gonna place them here, right? So let's move everything from that side to this side, right? Great, let's do it slowly. You're doing really well. Okay, so we have the big one, yellow, okay? So here's the yellow, here is the red, here is the green, here's the orange and the blue. And here is the red color puzzle piece. Okay, what we have here, it's a blue color puzzle piece, great. And next one is green color. Well done, we only have last two puzzle pieces. Let's turn around and what we have here is yellow color, great. And here we have blue color, amazing, so we turn around and found all the colors that we need for the puzzle. So what's gonna be the next step? So here we have the A and it's a pink color puzzle piece. And where is the pink color? Here. So we need to find for letter A. And here you see we have letter A. So the next that we're gonna do, we're gonna place it here. Great amazing and let's put it away so the next one letter is letter b and it's a red color and this one is letter b so this image help us thank you lion for helping us so we already combined two puzzle pieces and next one letter is letter c 
and it's a blue color. So here is the blue color letters and letter C. Great, we found it. And we should connect with letter B, like this. Great, amazing. So next one we have letter D. So where is the letter D? It's a green color. Where is the green color? Yes, it's here. And where is the letter D? Can you see the letter D? Yes, it's this one. Great, let's take the letter D and connect with this letter A. Great. So A, B, C and D. And after D, it's always letter E. So for the E, we need the face of the lion, right? The big puzzle. And it's a yellow color. And where is the yellow color? Yes, it's here. And where is the face? Here is the face of the lion. Great. So let's take this and... Wow, it's so huge. Well done. We just combined the letter E with all other letters. Great. And what's the next letter after the letter E? And it's letter F. F. And it's a green color. Where is the let where is the green color? It's here. We have the green color and it's letter F. Great. Let's take it here and connect. Well done. And what's the letter after letter F? It's letter, let's look here. It's gonna help us. It's letter G. Thank you, Lion. It's letter G. And where is the letter G? Hmm. It's here. Here is the letter G. And it's a blue color, right? So that's what we needed, the blue color. So let's put it together like this. Gray. And the next letter that we need to find gonna be the letter H. And the letter H is which color? Red. So we're gonna look for the red color. Where is the red color? It's red color. Here is the letter H. H. Huh. Great. So let's connect together like this. Amazing. And the next letter is letter I. And it's an orange color. Can you see the orange color? Can you help me to find the orange color? Where is this? Yes, it's here. Here is the orange color. Letter I. That's what we need. And let's connect. Well done. So here we have letter I. So we already found letter A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And this one is letter J. Hmm. And where is the letter J? It's a pink color. Where is the pink color? Can you see the pink color? Yes, it's here. Here is the pink color and here is the letter J. Well done. So let's place it and yes, we connected all the puzzle pieces for the lion face. Ta-da, great. So the next part gonna be the body of the lion, right? And the tail and the legs. Okay, so let's continue. What's gonna be after the letter J and let's look. So it's letter J, right? I, J, okay, let, okay. So we just need to go through. We need to find the letter. Can you see the letter O? It's letter O and it's a red color, you see? Let's do it and let's try. Hmm, seems to be like this, great. And the next one is letter K, right? So let's try to find the letter K and it's a yellow color. Where is the letter K? It's here, the letter K. Hey, okay. and we connect with this one. Well done. And the next one letter is letter L, orange color. Where is the orange color? Can you see the orange color? Yes, great. Thank you for helping me out. So here is the letter L and let's connect. Great. And the next one is letter M. So where is the letter M? It's a pink color. So we have two pink 
puzzle pieces. One is M and another is S. Which one we need here? M or S? Yes, we need M. So let's take the M and let's try to somehow connect it. Yes, amazing, we just connected the letter M. And the next one is letter, I think it's letter N, right? And it's a blue color. So let's look here, letter N, right? So here is the letter N. Great, so it's a blue color. And here we have two puzzle pieces with two letters, letter R and letter N. Well done, so let's take the letter N let's try to connect hmm it doesn't go maybe if we're gonna rotate this and try again yes well done and the next one is letter so a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p the next one is p and it's a green color. We need a green color puzzle piece. Where is the green color puzzle piece? Can you help me out? Yes, it's here. Here is the two green co color puzzle pieces. The letter T and the letter P. So here is the letter P. Okay, let's try to connect. And yes, we just connected the letter P. And the next one letter is letter U. So let's try to find where we need to place the letter q it's an orange color so here is the letter q letter q and orange color orange color so let's give it a try and yes well done and the next one letter is letter r it's a blue color where is the letter r yes it's here here is the letter r let's try to connect and see yes amazing and the next one letter is letter s where is the letter s can you see the letter s it's a pink color where is the pink color yes it's here here is the pink color so let's take the pink color and connect like this well done so the next one letter is letter it was letter s and after S, let's look. And S, T. The next one is T. Letter T, you see? So we need to find the letter T. And where is the letter T? It's a green color. And here is the letter T. Green color. Well done. So let's try to connect. And yes. And we only left with few letters here. So we have letter U, X, W, V. Okay, so let's go through the wall alphabet at the moment and then we're gonna see what's then gonna be the next letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U. The next one is U. So where is U? It's here. It's a red color puzzle piece and we have the letter U. Okay, and yes, great. And after the U comes the letter. So it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, and V. So it's letter V, V. Okay, here is the letter and it's a lack of the line and it's a yellow color. And where we can place this? I think it should be here. And great, I think it's gonna go. Yes, we found the letter V. And next one is letter W. So after V it's W and it's a yellow color. So here is the other leg of the lion. Okay, let's place it and yes, we're gonna make it great. And the next one letter is letter X, right? Or maybe Y, let's see. I think it's letter X. So after W, it's letter X. So let's take our letter X, the yellow color and place it like this. Great. And after X, the next one is letter Y. 
So here's our letter Y. Let's try and hmm. Maybe let's try it differently. And great. I think we've got it. Amazing. So, and the last letter is letter Z. And it's the tail of the lion. And where we can place the tail of the lion? Can you see where we can place the tail of the lion? Yes, you're right. We can place it right here. Great. Well done. We've completed the lion puzzle. And we also learned about the colors. So here we have blue color, green color, pink color, red color, and the yellow color. So let's go through the alphabet. A, B, C. D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and the last one, Z. Well done! You've done it amazing and so fast! See you in the next video! And today we're gonna learn about the numbers and we're also gonna solve the lion puzzle. So let's start. Oh, okay. Let's start to find the numbers and then let's do also and find those puzzle pieces. Okay, so the first number that we're gonna start could be and eight and it's a red color. So let's count one two three four five six seven and eight great and then let's try to solve the lion puzzle so first what we're gonna do we're gonna try to find the lion the parts of the lion so here's the tail of the lion here is the legs of the lion here is another legs of the lion okay so let's turn around them. And I think this is the hair of the lion. Okay, let's turn around. And here you can see the lion is smiling. Great. Let's turn around, let's keep going. Okay, so here is another part of the lion. What we do, we just turn around and see if there is the lion, right? So this is not the lion, this is monkey. This is the giraffe. Okay, here is the body of the lion. Great. Let's turn around next one and see. Yes, here's another part of the lion. Okay, great. We found a lot of pieces already, All right? So let's turn around again and see. Okay, here we have the trees, but trees also are the part of this puzzle. So maybe this one we're gonna leave and put aside and try to solve it later. So what we're trying to do He's just trying to find the lion on those images. There is no lion. Then we put aside. Let's try to find it. Is there is the lion? No. Try another one. Is there is the lion? I cannot see. Okay. Then another one. Okay. This seems to be the lion with the yellow body and also the tail. Okay. Let's place it here. And then another. Okay, is there is the lion? No, okay. Then we only left with two last ones that we need to check. If there is the yellow color of the lion? No. Is there is the yellow color? Okay, here is the lion. Here is the eyes and the nose and the ears. Okay, great. So, we found the puzzle pieces that we can try to solve. So let's start to solve by adding the face in the center, right? And here we have the mouth of the line. So we can connect them together like this. Okay. So the next one we need to you we need to keep going with the face. So here's another part, right? Like this. And here is, could be the tail, but the tail is here. So we need to turn around like this. Okay, great. It's coming well, the puzzle itself. So there we have a leg. So let's try to put this one here and another one here. 
okay so the legs are ready and then what we can do remember this part of of uh, the lion and the tail it could go here right so this is the part of the leg actually let's try great well done okay we keep going with this puzzle and try to find all the pieces so could it go this one here no okay maybe if we're gonna put it on the side like this and try again yes worked pretty well and then let's take this one here you can see here is the ear of the lion so let's try to put it here and there is another part of the lion is here right let's turn around and yes so you can see we completed this in no time and then there is another part you see here is the brown hair so let's try to place it yes maybe later we can change but right now it looks good so let's move back to those puzzle pieces and what we're gonna try to find is the brown color can you see here's the brown color right so maybe let's put aside at the moment and here is let's let's turn around and see if there's other brown color no there is no brown color let's again turn around and see no okay let's do it again can we see the brown okay here is the brown color right okay so maybe let's let's try to put this together like this so this one we're gonna move here and i think we should turn around like this okay and this one here is the part of the cloud and here is the part of the cloud let's try to combine them here is another thing here we can see that there is the rainbow here is the rainbow so this is the start of the rainbow right great well done okay and then we only left with these puzzle pieces so what we're gonna do and try we need to find the trees we need to find the green color right but there is a lot of green colors here in in those puzzles so let's try to start with the rainbow so here is the part of the rainbow and the cloud and what we should do we should take it to the corner like this right so we've completed the rainbow so we only left with two last ones so here you can see here you can see here is the tree and the we need to find the bottom part of the tree okay so let's turn around and see if we have something right okay uh, this is could be the tiger this is the cloud this is the tree but it's the upper side of the tree so this one does not contain the bottom part of the tree let's move on with this one and i think this could be the part of the tree we can try no it doesn't go well here so here's the difference in a bit in a color and we need to find the also the cloud should be there okay so let's try next one can you see i think it might be this one so here is the ladybug and the flower and if you could see here here is the small part of the flower so let's try and yes well done and then another that we're gonna try gonna be the tree itself so i think it might be this one because here is the small part of the cloud and here is the basically the tree so let's try it out yes well done we've completed the lion puzzle really fast you are doing so well and let's start to find those numbers so let's pick star shape and turn around and see here is the number seven and this is the pink color so let's count one two three four five six and seven great and then let's pick next one so next one that we're gonna pick gonna be the number one and it's a also pink color and it looks like a flower shape okay and, and where we have the number one can you see where we should place it yes right the number one goes here it always starts with the number one 
So when we start to count, we say one, two. So one is always first. Okay, let's try to find number two. So number two is the heart shape, right? So we need to find the heart shape. Can you see the heart shape here? Here is the heart shape. Great, well done. And it's a red color heart shape. So let's turn around. Yes, and we have here the number two. Okay, and let's count one and two like this. Amazing. And then after two, it always comes the number three. And we need to find the triangle shape, right? The orange triangle shape. Can you see the orange triangle shape? Can you see it? Yes, it is here. Great. And here we have the number three. It is orange, right? And why it's triangle shape? Because it has three sides. One, two, and three. Great. Let's place it here up to the number two. So the next number that we need to find is gonna be the number four, blue shape. And we have here two blue shapes, but this, this shape is circle shape. And this one has four sides that what we need for this clock. So let's take it, turn around and see, yes, it's number four. Great, let's put it like this, amazing. And then another one that we're gonna try to look for is gonna be number five. So where is the number five? And it's a green color. We have two shapes here with the green color. Which one of them is number five? What do you think? Yes, correct, it's this one, number five. And it's a green color. Okay, let's take it. And it goes four and five. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. And this one is six. And let's look at the, where is the number six? We need the yellow color. Okay, so this one are two yellow colors. So this could be the number six and this one could be number six. Which one do you think could be the number six? Yes, it's this one. Correct, let's take it. And it is number six. And then let's place it on the clock board like this. Great, and let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And next one is nine. Okay, we need the orange color shape. Let's look at those shapes. Can you see the orange color shape? Yes, it is here, this one. Let's take it and turn around. Yes, it's number nine. That's what we needed. So after number eight, it always goes number nine. Great. Okay, and then the next one number is number 10. So the 10 is blue color. So this one is blue color. Let's turn around and see. Yes, correct, it's number 10. And where we should place the number 10, can you see? It's nine and this one number is 10. Great, good job. So the next one number is number 11 and it's a green shade. So let's try to find the green shade. This one, yes. Okay, let's turn around and see. And it's 11, green. Okay, let's take this one and place it on the board. Can you see the 11? Here is the 11 and here we have the 11. Let's fit together, great. And then the next one number is number 12. And we only left with one shape, the yellow one. So let's turn around. Yes, it is number 12. Let's take it and place it after number 11, like this, great. Let's take our clock to the position. So here we have one o'clock, here we have two o'clock, here we have three o'clock, here we have four o'clock, and this one is five o'clock, this one is six, and the next one, you know it, it is seven o'clock, and the next one is eight o'clock, and after eight, it always goes nine o'clock, and after nine, it is 10 o'clock, and after 10, it is 
11 o'clock and the last one is 12 o'clock well done we found all the numbers and we made the penguin happy and we also found all the puzzles and we solved the lion puzzle so here we have the lion the ladybug the flowers the tail of the lion the trees the clouds and the rainbow well done see you in the next video and today we're gonna learn about wild animals and we also gonna learn about the panda and solve the panda puzzle and also we're gonna learn about the numbers look how many colorful fishes we have let's start oh where did the animals go and we don't have puzzles but we have beautiful crayons so let's start and let's pick the first crayon so we have blue green pink orange brown yellow and red and let's pick the orange one and let's shake and open wow here we have the cube the fish and the wild animal okay let's start with the wild animal so who we have here this is mama elephant and this is baby elephant okay let's look at the board where we can place this puzzle piece you see it's really huge and big and there is one place can you see it yes correct we can place it right here great and let's look at our fish so this is red fish and this is number three great and let's place the fish here and we need to find other numbers and learn about them so here what we need to find here is panda and let's rotate the cube can you see the panda maybe the part of the panda right here is the eye of the panda and the butterfly great let's place our cube here so we need to find more pieces to complete all the puzzles so let's open the next crayon and the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the yellow one let's shake and open great and what we have here is fishes the cube and the wild animal and this is the leopard the wild animal in savannah and let's look where we can place this wild animal on this board can you see so we can maybe place it here no maybe here no here is the place for our wild animal great well done and then let's pick our cube and fishes so here is our cube and fishes so this is the fish number eight and this is the fish number one so let's place our fishes here here's one we need two three four five six seven and eight great okay so let's look at this cube and let's try to find the panda can you see the panda maybe the part of the panda or something hmm this seems to be like a cube from the panda puzzle but we don't know yet so maybe let's right now just place it near to the next one and the next crane that we're gonna open gonna be the blue one okay let's shake and oh let's try again and we have many things here but we need to yes great so what we have here is the savannah tree great and let's look where we can put it so we have a lot of shapes here and where do you think we should put our savannah tree yes you're right we should place it here like this great and then let's look at our fish which number it is it is number nine great let's take our fish and see here is one two three four five six seven eight and after eight it's number nine and it's a blue color fish and here we have the cube and let's look if we have the panda okay so here is the ear of the panda and bamboo that panda is eating okay let's place 
this maybe here at the moment. Great. And let's keep going. Let's open the next crayon. And the next crayon we're gonna open gonna be the brown one. Light shade. What we have? Oh, we have many things here actually. We have two wild animals. So let's start with the first one. So this one is zebra. It has like a black stripes. Okay, and where we can place the zebra? Can you see the shape of the zebra? Here is the shape of the zebra. Let's try and great, well done. And then let's pick this one wild animal. Do you know the name of this wild animal? Yes, it's a rhino, great. Let's pick the rhino and find the place. Here is the place for the rhino. Let's place it like this and amazing, well done. And then what we have here is two cubes and the fish. So let's turn the fish and this is the fish that has number five. So let's go through and let's count one, two, three, four and five. We need to find other fishes to complete the numbers. And let's look at the cubes. And can you see? There is the panda maybe somewhere. Can you see it? Let me rotate. Can you see the panda? Yes, it is here. Here is the paw of the panda and panda is holding the bamboo. So let's at the moment place here, right? And then later we're gonna complete this puzzle. So let's rotate. Do you see the panda? Maybe part of the panda or the paw of the panda or maybe the leg of the panda or maybe the hand of the panda. Yes, here is the paw of the panda. Great, we found another one. Amazing. So let's keep going and opening these beautiful crayons. And the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the red one. Let's shape and... Wow, we have many things here. So what we have here is the giraffe. And look how long neck he has. And look how huge he is. Great. Let's take the giraffe. Can you see the shape where we can place the giraffe? Maybe here, or maybe here, or maybe here, or maybe here. Yes, correct. We can place the giraffe here. Great. Well done. And then we have two new numbers. So here we have the number six. This is the number six. And this is the number 10. So where do you think we should place the number six and number 10? Can you see the place? So five and after five, it goes six. And then after nine, it goes number 10. And it's a purple color. And number six is pink color. Great. Let's go to our cubes. So what we have here is we need to find the panda or maybe bamboo. Is it that the bamboo? Correct, correct, it's a bamboo. Let's take this puzzle piece and place it here. And then let's go back and try to find any hint for the panda. Is there is the panda, can you see? Yes, here is the head of the panda with the ear and bamboo. Let's take it and place it here, great. Let's open the next crayons and the next crayons that we're gonna open gonna be the pink and the green one, okay. Let's take pink, shake, open, great. And what we have here is two wild animals. So this is the animal, you know the name, it's lion. And lion do the roars and lion is the king. Okay, where we can place the lion? Can you see? Maybe here, here or here, where do you think? Yes, we can place the lion right here, well done. Then let's take our next one. And this is the wild animal that's called Yak. Okay, where we can place the wild animal? It's called Yak. Here or here? This one or this one? Yes, correct. We can place the wild animal right here. Amazing, well done. And then we have two fishes and the cube. Okay, so let's look through the fishes. So here we have number two and here we have number seven so where we can place the number two and number seven can you see one and then next one goes number two amazing and then three four five six and what number we have here what we need to 
You know it, you know the name. Number seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. And then we have a cube. Let's try to find any hint for the panda. Let's try to find the panda. Can you see maybe ear of the panda or something? Here's the ear of the panda. Great. Well done. Let's place this to our panda puzzle that we need still to complete. And then let's open the next crayon, the last one, the green one. Let's check. And oh, so many things we have here. So here we have the wild animal. It's called, you know the name? It's called monkey. Wow. And what monkey loves? Bananas. So we only have one place where we can put our monkey. And it is here. Well done. And then let's look at our number. So here we have the number four and it's a green fish. Okay, where we can place the number four? Can you see? One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And let's look for our cube. And let's try to find the panda. Is there... Yes, here is the panda. Let's take the panda and place to our puzzle piece. Okay, so we need to complete this puzzle. So let's start with the panda face. So here we have the face. We need a head with the ear like this. And then we need another ear. It could go like this. And then here's eye, the left eye of the panda. Great. So then we need the legs and the body. So here we have left leg and the right leg. So if we're gonna move them here together and stack, great. So then we need this side. Okay, so let's think where we can place them. So here we have the right ear. Here we have the bamboo, right? That what panda, pandas are eating. And then we have another one, the grass and the small part of the le right leg of the panda. Great, we've completed this puzzle really quick. You're doing amazing. So. We completed the wild animal board. So we have leopard, the monkey, the lion, the rhino, the zebra, the yak, the mama elephant, baby elephant, savannah tree, and the giraffe. Well done. And then we have fishes. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten great and then we also have the panda puzzle so here we have the sun we have the panda that's holding the bamboo we have the bamboo that's growing here and then we also have the small butterfly amazing we've completed the wild animal board the numbers and the panda puzzle congratulations good job see you in the next video thank you kids Bye, see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.